If you're watching this, chances are you've been recommended for lung surgery, which is called a lobectomy. At this point, you may have some questions, so we'd like to take a couple of minutes to help you understand what are the different treatment options for lung cancer? What is a thoracic lobectomy? What are the surgical options for a thoracic lobectomy? What are the benefits? What are the possible risks and complications? And finally, what you need to do to prepare for this procedure. There are three main types of treatment for lung cancer. Thoracic surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy. You can talk to your doctor about these options and they'll explain the goals of each. In this video, we'll focus on the surgery option, more specifically, thoracic lobectomy. First, let's talk about what a thoracic lobectomy is. Thoracic lobectomy is a surgical procedure to remove one of the lobes of your lungs. Your doctor may recommend surgery as part of your lung cancer treatment plan. There are several different options for surgeons to remove lung tissue. These options include wedge resection, the removal of the tumor itself that includes some of the surrounding lung tissue or lymph nodes, segmentectomy, the removal of a section of the lung and significantly more of the lung tissue surrounding both the tumor and the lymph nodes, lobectomy, the removal of one lobe of the lung, and pneumonectomy, the removal of all lobes of one lung. To do the surgery, doctors will have two options to perform a lobectomy. One way is called open surgery, also called thoracotomy and posterolateral thoracotomy. With open surgery, your surgeon will make one large incision in your chest between two ribs, which will be spread to allow the surgeon room to perform the surgery. The procedure involves the cutting of muscle, and the ribs are spread with a device specifically made for that purpose. The other way a lobectomy can be performed is through a procedure called video-assisted thoracoscopic surgery, or VATS. This is a minimally invasive surgery where three or four small incisions are made in your chest. A thoracoscope, which is a small video camera, is inserted into one of the incisions. The video camera is projected onto a monitor, which allows your surgeon to see inside your chest cavity while performing the procedure. Thin instruments are inserted into the other incisions to enable your surgeon to perform the surgery. Open surgery and VATS require general anesthesia. Although rare, problems with anesthesia, blood clots, and even death have been reported. We suggest you talk to your doctor to determine which procedure is right for you. There are certain benefits patients may see from the VATS option. Unlike traditional surgery, VATS is considered minimally invasive. Because the incisions are small, there is minimal cutting of the muscles of the chest, and the procedure does not require spreading of the ribs. As a result, compared to open surgery, VATS can mean faster recovery and healing. This means that you can leave the hospital sooner and return to your normal activities more quickly with less pain and other discomfort. As with any major surgery, there are risks involved. Complications or side effects can include bleeding, an air leak that may take some time to heal, pneumonia, and breathing issues such as shortness of breath. Less serious complications for both open and minimally invasive surgery may include chest pain related to the procedure, upset stomach, nausea and vomiting, and irregular heartbeat. To prepare for thoracic surgery, talk with your doctor to make sure you understand your options, discuss possible risks and complications, determine which type of surgery is right for you, understand what will happen during surgery, and know what you need to do before and after surgery to help ensure the best possible result.